Breaking, man with massive dirt on Hillary Clinton suddenly dead. What the hell? A very prominent surgeon from Manhattan was found murdered in his upscale apartment on Sunday by his 11-year-old daughter, the New York Post reported. Dr. Dean Lorich was made famous after operating on new two-front man Bono and Giants running back Michael Cox, but the 54-year-old's life was cut drastically short after someone plunged a knife through his chest over the weekend. Lorich was found dead on the bathroom floor of his apartment. Details of how someone entered his apartment are slim, however, his sudden death certainly draws numerous questions considering his association to Hillary Clinton and her corrupt charity. In fact, Lorich was the man who sounded the alarm as the Clinton Foundation robbed the Haitian people following the devastating 2000 earthquake. In a piece for CNN at the time titled, Doctors, Haiti Medical Situation Shameful, he blew the doors in on the total lack of relief the Haitians were receiving. Once we arrived, we saw a severely damaged hospital with no running water and only limited electrical power, supplied by a generator. Surgeries were being performed in the equivalent of a large storage closet, where amputations were performed with hacksaws, the doctor wrote. This facility could not nearly accommodate our equipment nor our expertise to treat the volume of injuries we saw. The horrid conditions forced Dr. Lorich and his team to move to a hospital down the road, and things didn't become much better after that. In fact, the conditions were so bad that any normal person would have lost their lunch at the sight of it. Meanwhile, the Clinton Foundation had taken in tens of millions of dollars in donations to help fix those very conditions. Dr. Lorich wrote, We found scores of patients with pus dripping out of open extremity fractures and crush injuries. Some wounds were already written with maggots. About a third of these victims were children. The entire hospital smelled of infected, rotting limbs and death. Later on, we would judge our surgical progress by the diminishment of the stench. In our naivete, we didn't expect that the two anesthesia machines would not work, that there would be only one cautery available in the entire hospital to stop bleeding, that an operating room sterilizer fit only instruments the size of a cigar box, that there would be no sterile saline, no functioning fluoroscopy machine no blood for transfusions, no ability to do lab work, and the only local staff was a ragtag group of voluntary health providers who, like us, had made it there on their own. Jesus! What a horrible thing to have happened! Worse yet, as Lorich was leaving the island nation, he witnessed pallets of Cheerios and dry goods sitting on the tarmac helping nobody. Meanwhile, he said, our flight of critical medical equipment and personnel had been cancelled and the equipment that did get through was hijacked. As for his ties to Hillary, Lorich sent a detailed email to a confidant who then forwarded it to Cheryl Mills, as documented by WikiLeaks. Mills was working as Chief of Staff for then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who received the email shortly after. With Lorich being on the ground in Haiti, he knew what the Clinton Foundation was actually doing to help, which turned out to be very little as Bill and Hillary squandered most of the money. Given the numerous investigation occurring both in Congress and the Justice Department, it's entirely within the realm of possibilities that he could have been called to testify for his intimate knowledge of the relief efforts, which makes one wonder, is this another loose end being tied up by the Clintons?